Appalachian Wireless proudly brings you unlimited data. Unlimited data is only $80 a month for a single line. Four lines as low as $200. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless, an East Kentucky network company. Data speeds slow to 25 gigabytes per line to 512 kilobits for phones and tablets and 15 gigabytes for modems. See store for more details. Former State Representative Leslie Combs said she was shocked when she heard about Governor Matt Bevin's proposed funding cuts in the budget he submitted yesterday evening, especially with one program she helped establish. Combs and several other Mountain legislators helped author the Kentucky Cole County College Completion Scholarship, or K4CS for short. The program provides scholarships to students from coal-producing counties working toward bachelor's degrees. In the governor's proposed budget, K4CS and numerous other education and health care programs have their funding cut for the next two years. I was devastated and shocked, but not just that one. I mean, that, that obviously is near and dear to me, very close to, you know, a lot of work's been done by a lot of people, not just me, but it took us four years to put that in place. And let me tell you something, uh, I have had many calls and many letters over the last couple of years since that's been in place from students who've taken advantage of it, parents whose children have been able to take advantage of it, and not just in eastern Kentucky, but in the western Kentucky coal counties that were able to take advantage of it. Combs agreed with Governor Bevin that programs should be evaluated to eliminate waste, but she said vital programs that benefit many Kentuckians should not be cut. Programs need to be evaluated as to their efficiency and are they truly producing the results they need to be producing. Is there waste? Yes. I, I, I'm sure that exists in several different areas, but let's, let's determine that waste. Let's be serious about determining that, that waste. It exists and let's deal with it. And then, but in the meantime, don't just cut it out till you know the answer to the question. Combs said she recognizes the state's budget problems and recognizes that new revenue streams must be found. She added, though, that the programs benefiting education and health care should not suffer during the budget process. Look at the other 69 programs. I mean, there are so many programs on that list that are so vital to the people in this state, I mean, I, I'm sitting here and I look at the list and I go, Governor, you know, in all the respects, what do you have against education, women, and children? Combs said she hopes the state legislature will give serious consideration to the consequences of Bevin's proposed cuts. In the newsroom, Chris Anderson, EKB News.